black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, well, out and about, worked up an appetite. I just ripped up two garden beds, painstaking lower back crushing labor knees are dirty and scratch and shit but all good out in the sun um it feels nice to be out in the sun move that body stretch that body but i worked up an appetite we're going subway we're going classic with our bmt of course and i got some miss vicky's spicy dills that we're gonna probably just kind of add on on a per bite well we'll see if we could tuck some in anyways i'll bring you down for the real thing cam to see how this was constructed maybe tuck some dills in and then we'll just chat and eat in the street in the heat can't wait yeah all right well crack the seal of approval yep there we are all the gardening tools rakes clippers other stuff many things for the gardening tools and then in the back we got all the fucking roots and sod and all the root systems and the chakras and the plant chakras and the body chakras and the interdimensional <laughs> vessels of life. Anyhow, let's see how this is. We got it toasted. Ooh, it's shimmering in the sun. Looking pretty good. Very saucy. Loaded up. I got it uh, pressed off. But yeah, I think I'm just going to, just because it is so saucy and stacked and messy-ish... I think I'll just add chips as I take bites. Anyways, all right, let's eat this. All right, hello, yes, I shall remove these frames so you can see my eyes. It's more intimate that way. And these spicy dills, sorry if it's super loud. Just gonna crack those here and lay a few down. And for proper precautions, I just took a little slice of the subway wrapper paper and we're just making a small drip bonnet a small little drip bonnet also i did my lots of crunching and crinkling on this one i did my monthly just go get sauce just go get black and ranch from Popeyes. i was over at canadian tire i had to buy a, a new rake because i snapped mine <laughs> raking this this yard and uh, I had to go pick up a new rake and the uh, Popeyes is right, right over there. And so I went and I picked up my, my monthly little batch of Blackened Ranches and the guy laughed at me. So there's that, that's how my day is going. But he laughed that all I wanted to stock up on was sauce. But I told him I like it on a bunch of different foods at home that I make. Namely, chicken tacos and chicken salads mm. and apparently Italian BMTs Subway is trying to pull a slick one. Also, sorry if I my hat is really sweaty and there's like salty sweat stains. That's what happens when you're digging out garden beds. But, um, Man, this is really good. Just by the way. By the by. Subway is pulling a, a massive 
menu. That's the bike right there, by the way. Menu overhaul. Well, they are. I don't want to say they're reinventing the wheel, but they've definitely put on a whole new test kitchen type menu. Like they definitely are trying to up the ante and make it more almost like Quiznos, how Quiznos was kind of fancy like. They got this like pesto, fresh mozzarella, fresh basil one. They have crispy onions now, which I added to this. So somebody was looking out for me at uh, corporate. They got capicola in there now. And just all these new, all these new designs. But can't beat. The standard Italian BMT. What replaced this was, me and the girl had the talk. She's like, it's now called the Supremo, which I think is just the additive of Capicola. But I don't really love Capicola, to be honest with you. It's fine. It's whatever. It's a bit spicy. Mm. I feel like I just don't really need that extra that extra meat layer of what it brings to the table. Saucy butts. We like them. Around here. I probably look haggard. I may have dirt on my face. And I may be rather sun-kissed. Rather burnt. Cause I've been grinding even prior to this a bunch of days out in the out in the beams out in the rays digging graves and by that I mean new life coming with plants and bushes and shrubs and tulips and such all right round two another little butt cradle I did just look at my hat like I took it off and looked at it and it is Salty, filthy, and gross, and I am very sorry for that. If that's off-putting for you, I didn't really realize it was that bad, but that's what happens when you... Work and sweat in half. And then it immediately dries it in the sun. You're looking at it. All right. Um, let's talk about my last video in the comments. I've been instructed by a viewer to take a break from YouTube focus on my diet and my drinking <laughs> with a lot of support for that comment all well and good thoughts but this is the worst thing about the internet <laughs> I just don't get how somebody gets to put a comment and it's like just gospel 
all of a sudden. Um, hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> Are we hanging out? <laughs> Are we drinking, buddy? Have we been drinking together? <laughs> Have we been eating together? Do you know the reality of my life and what I've actually been doing with it? Because <laughs> the diet... Fairly accurate. I eat a bunch of bullshit. I always have. But the bottle? I put the tame the tame time out on that a long time ago. Certainly the diet could use some work. But, um, I don't know. I just eat how I like. I've always eaten how I've liked. And, uh, I don't know that anything's going to change on that front, really. Mainly because I don't really stress it. Here for a good time, not a long time. My philosophy. I'll be honest with you. I don't even want to get old. That shit seems painful. And overrated as shit. Like I accept. That I am. Not immortal. And that. <laughs> death is a requirement. By proxy of birth and existence. And. I also know that. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. Now, some people will argue, like, well, it's most likely going to come, though. You never know. You absolutely never know. And I just know a lot of people who live a life, you know, they're drinking blue green algae and they're taking all these, like, <laughs> you know, they're going for IV fluid injections and they're drinking chlorella in the morning and doing everything to preserve themselves. Because they want to live like this long, healthy, fruitful life. And that's fine and cool, but like, I just like, <laughs> to be 70 or 80, 75, 80, 85, like, no matter what, you're going to get to that age and you're just going to be like, that's too long, man. <laughs> like, at least for me, it is. It's too long, like. Like, I don't even intend to be 70, 75, 80 and, like, being in that older body. Just doing mundane tasks and, like, struggling through even the most basic of things. And I already can hear the argument. That's why you got to keep your body healthy now so that the mundane tasks when you're older and later aren't going to be more as difficult to do but it's like the body wears out regardless I don't care how much cod liver oil you take 
and all the rest of it. You're going to break down regardless. I don't have that whole like... I want to see my kids get married and then my grandkids graduate college and like, I don't, that's not going to be my life. I already know that. Procreation is likely not in my future for various reasons. Some personal and some just like circumstantial. It's just like. I guess as a man. I can prolong that but. I just don't see it in the cards for me. As per who I am and the way that I. Operate and view life and things so. You know. I don't even have a reason. To get that old. You know. And for me to have the whole, like, and my grandchildren, like, I would have had to start, I would have had to have started at least, you know, 10 years ago <laughs> having kids, to have, like, my kids have the potential to maybe have any grandchildren. That's a big-ass maybe in today's world because I'm from a family, a blended family. Of seven children, two parents, right? My stepmom, my four step siblings, me and my sisters. So seven children in total. Not a single one of us has procreated. <laughs> Out of seven children, not one of us has had a child or even come close to having a child. So what does that say about maybe the things that we went through in our family personally? How we feel about family and relationship and marriage and divorce and being uh, a witness of those things but what does that also say about the times that we live in you know morally and ethically and, and fiscally responsive fiscal responsibility to bring a child into the world that you can actually you know give a good life and care for for real lots of people don't even have that option these days because it's so pricey out here that that to have a child is a huge financial investment in a rough economy, right? So we all have our various reasons as to why <clears throat> none of us have kids, but part and parcel is just a lot of us are just like, we can't really afford kids, right? Many of us also just don't really want them for the fact that we just don't feel like we want to have kids, but... A lot of it is just, you know, many people in today's, you know, the next generation, the millennials and the Gen Z's and everything coming up, it's like, it's just a matter of like barely surviving life. And in, in today's economy, it's just like, you know, day to day, you're living on the wheel in the cyclical loop of doing everything you got to do and not <clears throat> not many people are thriving many people are surviving and living like just getting to live per day like not thriving not having excess and you know doing anything too crazy it's a lot of working surviving and living it's just the time that we live in right now so i don't know it's interesting the whole Having kids thing is it just isn't the same as it used to be. It's just different now. So, anyways, little rambling tangent there, but it is what it is. That's where my mind went. But that's true for me. I just don't see myself wanting to be that old. Like I've I've never wanted to be super old. I don't. I've never romanticized the idea of my golden age, my golden years, where it's like. I don't know, my memory sucks, dementia, shit in my pants, having people change my diaper, potentially like getting wheeled around, you know, losing a limb to diabetes or, uh, you know, just taking shit tons of pills because of all these things that my body are slowly breaking down and I need these pills to sustain it. And just like, 
being a humdrum old person who just you don't you can't like experience life the same way as when you're young it's just so slow and 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 repetitive and you know i ain't got time for that i'm ready to blast off to the stars and go on my next fucking cosmic adventure bruh like that's where i'm headed you know 60 is cool with me like 60 is enough i've already had enough pretty much of this place but 60 i'd be cool with just being like i had 60 i'm out and go out like on a d <laughs> on a deep party for sure <laughs> but anyways just here's what i'm gonna wrap with stop hey 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 Stop writing things on people's, you know, videos, walls, posts, whatever, as if you know what they're doing in their real life. Stop narrativizing humans' lives that you don't know for real in real life, that you're not living in and amongst. Stop doing that. Because it's asinine. Okay? All right. Can we at least agree on that? Till the next one, you can live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.